वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स लर्न मोर अबाउट पैरल लाइन्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पैरल लाइन्स इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल थ्योरम द स्टेटमेंट फॉर दैट इज द करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स फॉर्म बाय अ ट्रांसवर्सल ऑफ टू पैरल लाइन्स आर ऑफ इक्वल मेजर फॉर दैट आई ड्रॉ हियर फिगर हियर देर आर टू पैरल लाइन्स आर गिवन एंड देर फोर वी ड्रॉ हियर two parallel lines line l and line m these are the two parallel lines and line n is the transversal of these two lines then because of this transversal two corresponding angles are formed which are that suppose this is angle a and this is angle b these two angles are one of the pair of corresponding angles here are four pairs of corresponding angles out of this we take only one corresponding angle okay now we will write the given what is the given for that here there are two parallel lines therefore what we write here line l parallel line m and line n is a transversal this is the given here line l and line m are parallel and n is the transverse that is the given then what is to prove which thing we are going to prove here because of this transversal here two corresponding angles are formed and these two corresponding ang angles are of equal measure that thing we are going to prove here and therefore what we write here well, a is equal to angle b now we are going to write the proof okay how we can prove this <clears throat> we know that angle a and the angle c which is linear paired with angle a are supplementary and therefore what we write here angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 degree why this is statement first and what is the reason linear paired angles okay these two are linear paired angles then also we know that angle c plus angle b is equal to also 180 degree angle c plus angle b is equal to Also, one degree. This is statement second. What will be the reason why they are their sum is one degree? Because they are interior angles. In previous property, we have studied about that. That is, when two parallel lines intersected by a transversal, then the interior angles form are. supplementary and therefore these two angles are supplementary nothing but angle c plus angle b is equal to 180 degree then from first and second statement what we get here angle a plus angle c is equal to angle c plus angle b because it's this statement for this statement the right hand side is 180 degree for this statement right hand side is 180 degree therefore both these left hand sides are equal and therefore what we write here angle a plus angle c is equal to angle c plus angle b okay here angle c and angle c are on both sides and therefore they get cancel and what remains here angle a is equal to angle b and in this way we prove that these corresponding angles are of equal measure you understand this one that is when two lines intersected by a transversal then the corresponding angles are equal in measure let us see the next property of parallel lines that is alternate angles theorem okay then what, uh, let us see here what is the statement for this theorem the statement is so that the alternate angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measure do you understand this one statement here alternate angles this theorem is related to alternate angles therefore alternate angles formed a because of this transversal of two parallel lines they are of equal measures okay 
Let us see what will be the figure for that. <coughs> see here, this one is the line L. Suppose this is line L, then this is line M. These two lines are parallel as usual. In previous theorems, we had studied like that. And line N is a transversal. This line N is a transversal. Then this statement is related to alternate angles. Therefore, we take here alternate angles. Okay. Suppose this angle is angle D and this angle is angle B. Now we will write given. Is given as usual line L parallel line M and line N is a transversal. This is the given. Huh? This line, these two lines are parallel, and this line is a transversal. This is given. Huh? Then now what is to prove? This thing we are going to do because of these two parallel lines and transversal, these two alternate angles are formed, and these two alternate angles are of equal measure. That is, angle D is equal to angle B. Here, angle D and angle B is alternate angles and they are of equal measure. Now, see here how we can prove this for that. There is a proof. We can prove this. <coughs> In previous properties, what we had studied, angle D plus this angle C is equal to 180 degree. Okay. Angle D plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. This is statement first. What is the reason? These are the linear paired angles. These are the linear paired angles. You already know that. No. Huh? Angle D plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Now, <coughs> also in previous theorem, what we had studied, angle C plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Why is so? Angle C plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. This is suppose statement second. What is the reason for that? It is interior angles. Interior angles. These are the pair of interior angles. Huh? And in property, what we are studying, the pair of interior angles formed by two parallel lines and their transversal are supplementary. Therefore, we write here angle C plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. By comparing these two statements from first statement first and statement second, by comparing that is on right hand side of these equations there is 180 degree therefore these two statements will be equal and therefore what we write here angle D plus angle C is equal to angle C plus angle B to understand this one <coughs> now here on both sides there is angle C therefore they get cancelled and here get angle D is equal to angle B and hence this is proved that is the alternate angles formed here angle D and angle B are of equal measure always remember this if two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal then the interior angles on either side of the transversal are supplementary Second, the corresponding angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measure. And third, the alternate angles formed by a transversal of two parallel lines are of equal measures.